Shalom. First of all, I'd like to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Baha Sham Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to the Archim out there doing this work in sincerity and in truth. Once again, another article from the news from the 21st of April 2017. This is from the Sun newspaper titled New Orders for Cops. Police will shoot terrorist drivers dead under new rules of engagement following Westminster Bridge attack. The article goes on to say police will use shoot to kill tactics to wipe out jihadi death drivers. Now in England, or even in the whole of the UK, the police authorities are saying because of the 2016 NICE attack that happened on the 14th of July when a 19 ton cargo truck drove into crowds of people celebrating Bastille in France, resulting in scores of deaths and hundreds injured, and the 2017 Westminster attack on the 22nd of March, where an officer was allegedly fatally stabbed in the New Palace Yard, and also the attacker who drove a car into the pedestrians, apparently injuring more than 50 people. So upon these incidents, police authorities have set new rules of engagement, which is a shoot-to-kill policy, as stated in this article. Now referring back to a 2015 article by The Guardian saying shoot-to-kill, what is the UK's policy? Going down to the part where it says do police shoot-to-kill or wound, which is in the UK, it says... The official policy says firearms officers shoot to incapacitate, in which years down the line we now know their attitude has changed, at least publicly. Once again, if you go down to where it says, is there a shoot to kill policy of, for terrorists? It says the Metropolitan Police Commissioner, Sir Bernard Hogan Howe, insisted on Tuesday that there was no shoot to kill policy. Yet because of the... November 2015 Paris attacks the same guy had decided that he would double the number of armed officers but bringing it to date law enforcement have since changed their tune continuing on with the article from the Sun it says former deputy chief inspector Mick Neville said it is crucial that firearms officers are given the protection of the law for split-second decisions it also says cops will be ordered to shoot through the windscreens of moving vehicles they suspect are being driven at people. The number of armed officers will also rise to 10,500 by next year. Further information says training schemes have seen 640 more armed cops added to forces. The total should reach 7,000 by April 2018. Uh, there are also 3,500 armed officers with British Transport Police, the Civil Nuclear Constabulary, the National Crime Agency and Ministry of Defence Police. So right now you can see that the police are being given more confidence when faced with a terrorist attack. However, the loose use of the word terrorist and the more growing popular use of the word domestic terrorism, meaning the civilian population is deemed a terrorist, until proven innocent, the new laws of engagement could backfire on the general public, especially on Jake or so-called ethnic minorities, as you are starting to see the pattern in alleged terrorist attacks that guys are starting to grow beards and they're becoming more darker in skin than previous terrorist attackers, which is clearly an assault or an attack on the men that are teaching this truth in sincerity, man. The men that are teaching in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, bringing out the truth of the Bible, waking up the elect. As we know, the true enemy of this world and the so-called white man's establishment is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. These elites are not going to give up their rulership without a fight, and have plans to take out the men of the Lord, such as the King Alfred plan, Rex eighty four. Project Megiddo, etc. And in the light of concentration camps, they are going to have a list of people who they already suspect are not going to accept the RFID, RFID implantable chip, which is biblically known as the mark of the beast. And that coincides with 
what's known in the scriptures as the time of Jacob's trouble. So the incremental rise of armed forces in the UK shows you what time we're living in. It shows you the mark of the beast is just around the corner. That anyone who doesn't accept the RFID chip is deemed a terrorist or an enemy of the state. It shows a normalization process of armed forces being present on the streets. Preparing the public for a long term armed police presence. And finally, martial law for when the prophecies of famine, loss of jobs, diverse pestilences take hold of the UK and places around the world. And that's going into 2nd Exodus the 15th and 16th chapter. But for now I'm just going to read the 2nd Exodus 15 and I'll read from uh, verse 17. It says, a man, let me start from 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So they're not going to be listening to the authorities or even these um, politicians. And definitely not mums for guns. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride the city shall be spoiled, their houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So during that time of martial law, um, where the curfews are implemented, you know, hell's going to break loose and the elites and people who run this society are going to want protection. And that protection is going to be from you, the civilian, the general public, who at this point are claiming they are there to protect you. Feel free to leave comments, keep your eyes on the news and with that I'm going to say Shalom.